What's up guys, welcome to my channel. So I've been getting questions from, uh, from some of the viewers uh, because they wanted to uh, set up their home office and uh, connect like multiple monitors with their one computer um, because of this current situation and they want to work from home. So I'm going to show you different ways, uh, actually three ways to connect multiple monitors, two monitors, three monitors or you know as many monitors as you like with one computer. So as you can see I do have a couple of monitors with me and one PC. So let's get started. The number one way to actually connect your multiple monitors with your one computer, one PC uh, by using a docking station. Uh, the docking station is very easy, very simple way to do that. You just need to connect your PC, your monitor or your laptop uh, on this, uh, you know, this port of the, of the docking station and it gives you a lot of options. It has, you know, a lot of USB ports. It has extra VGA port that you can connect, uh, you know, with VGA to VGA cable that you can connect one monitor, one monitor to this uh, VGA port. And then you can use uh, one HDMI port of your laptop to connect the other monitor. This may not be very feasible for, you know, for a lot of viewers. So here's the second option that I'm going to suggest to you. Well, the second option is to use your USB port of your PC, of your laptop to connect to the VGA port of your monitor. Um, and how you can do that is by using uh, this adapter, this converter called USB to VGA. As you can see, this, uh, this converter, this adapter converts your USB port to your VGA port. So, well, you may be asking, well, why don't we connect the laptop with the monitor as it is with, with one VGA and one HDMI? The current laptops, the newer laptops, you don't get the VGA ports anymore in the laptops. If you have an older laptop like I do, I do have HDMI and a VGA port uh, built in, into my one laptop. But with the with newer laptops these days, they don't give you VGA port anymore. So in that case, what we're going to do? We're going to connect the HDMI port of the laptop to the HDMI of uh, one monitor and then we're going to use the, uh, the USB ports of the laptop to connect uh, to the VGA ports of the other monitors and using this adapter. So I'm going to show you that right now. Let's do that. So as you can see, this is the HDMI cable and this is actually connected to the uh, monitor number one on left. So when I put the HDMI cable into my computer's HDMI port, you will see the monitor number one will actually display right there. Monitor number one is uh, actually on and uh, do make sure your input of the monitor number one is actually HDMI. And uh, to connect the number two monitor, we're going to make use of this adapter as I showed you earlier. This is a USB to VGA. So I'm going to connect this to the USB port of my laptop. So as you can see, I do have the VGA cable connected to monitor number two. And uh, I'm going to connect this uh, VGA cable to the VGA output of the laptop. And the monitor number two is on right there. In case your adapter is not working, you might need a driver for that. And uh, the driver would actually come, uh, come with the adapter. So if you, if you didn't have the driver with you, uh, just ask the seller because, you know, like initially uh, this was not working for me. So I reached out to the seller and uh, the seller provided me the link for the driver which are downloaded and installed to my, to my computer. And, uh, as, uh, you know, after that, the adapter is working fine. I'm going to show you the settings in just a minute. But before that, uh, here's my solution number three. The solution number three, instead of using the USB to VGA adapter, you can also use a VGA to HDMI adapter. And, uh, and then you can connect the HDMI output of the adapter to the HDMI input of the monitor. So there are like uh, two different types of adapters I'm, gonna, I'm recommending in this video. And the link will be in the, in the description of the video also. Uh, you, can, you can get a USB to VGA or USB to HDMI. Both will actually work. But the idea of the video is uh, you can actually connect the monitor number one from the HDMI of your computer. But because the HDMI is actually limited to one HDMI port on your computer, you need to make use of the USB of your, of your laptop. And then you can use the USB to VGA or USB to HDMI to connect as many monitors as you like. So now let's get on to the uh, settings part of this video. So as you can see, um, the cursor is right there on the screen. So we're gonna right click on that and uh, go to display settings. Click on the identify button. As you can see, it says one, that's two, that's three. So uh, you can see the one is actually in the center. That's why my laptop screen is actually showing as, you know, as uh, like in between the two, two monitors. What you can do, I'm gonna make uh, this monitor number one, 
this mountain number two and this screen as number three. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this two, three, one. The order is two, three, one. So I'm going to uh, drag this one and uh, keep and place it on the right of the three. Drag it a little down. So as you can see, it's, it's two, three, one and click the apply button. So after you make this change, you can see your the mouse is, all, is actually on uh, monitor number one, which I, if I keep scrolling to the right, it comes to the monitor number two, which is in the center. And then if I keep scrolling to the right, it now comes onto my laptop, which is monitor number three. And if uh, you are facing hard time in, in actually figuring that out, just scroll to the bottom and you see multiple displays uh, as an option down there. Uh, click on that. And you will see uh, there are like a few other op few options based on the you know display driver. Um, you know what you have for your device. So uh, the idea is to click on the option that says extend. So click on that. It says extend desktop to this display. So I already have that selected. Uh, using that you can actually extend the workspace. Otherwise you know you're just gonna duplicate that. Another interesting setting that I want to tell you is that if you uh, let's say you want to um, make the monitor number one as portrait mode. So what you want to do? Click on click on that monitor because you know this is actually number two in my situation and then scroll to the bottom because I just want to make change to only that uh, monitor not to the you know all the monitors and then I'm gonna uh, select this option called orientation and uh, select the option called portrait keep uh, click on the keep changes button and there you go if you, uh, this is actually helpful if you want to uh, rotate the, the monitor. Maybe you are like you know, reading uh, some like uh, article online or maybe some web page. You know, like if you if you if you like to uh, make the monitor vertical, so you know, like portrait mode will actually help you. This is this is when you actually select the select the monitor and the, make the change only for that monitor. So this will not affect any any other monitor. So um, I have actually, uh, you know, reverted my change and the monitor number one is back to landscape. So another, you know, interesting setting that I want to tell you is that as you can currently see, uh, my all the icons are, are actually on the central monitor, which I want to, you know, make the monitor number one as primary. So, you know, that option is actually uh, back in your settings. So go actually scroll to the bottom and, uh, you know, there's an option called multiple displays. And below that, there's a button called make this my main display. So you want to select that monitor that you want to make as main display. So as you can see, you know, like the first monitor is actually uh, monitor number two, which is that one. And that's currently selected. So I'm going to make that monitor as my main display and, and check this box. And now you can see, you know, the, all the icons are, are actually, uh, you know, back to monitor number one. Or actually monitor number two you know which is the first display first monitor and uh, that's my primary monitor now you know my mouse is actually on the first monitor if i keep scrolling to the right it's on second monitor now if i keep scrolling to the right it's on my pc now it's on my laptop now so this is how you connect as many monitors uh, with one PC, one laptop as you like. You just need to make use of the USB ports in your system. And if you are, you know, um, if you don't have enough USB ports in that case, you, you can you can buy, you know, a USB hub or, you know, like multiple, like a USB extender, you know, as I would call it. And then make use of this cable call or this adapter called USB to VGA or USB to HDMI. Do make sure you get the driver for that adapter because Unless you have the driver, you won't see that extended monitors in your in your settings. You can move around the displays. You can you you may actually like uh, want to place you know a monitor top of the other monitor if you have like a vertical setup. So you know you can actually play with the settings right there. Uh, do not use HDMI splitter. There is another adapter which uh, you may find on uh, on eBay or Amazon, and that's a HDMI splitter. So you know that splitter actually splits one HDMI to two HDMI's but that's just mirror your desktop it will not extend your desktop so both the monitors will actually play the same thing they will not play the different things so do not use the HDMI splitter if you want to um, buy this item the link will be in the description and uh, this is how you can actually extend your workspace well I hope you like this video and if you did like it hit the like button and subscribe to my channel alright guys I'll see you in the next video